Warner. Certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Outside right now, clear and cold. This after what was a partly cloudy and cold day. Temperatures only topping out in the 30s. In fact, you can see to the north, we had a high of 34 in Camdenton, 35 today in Fort Leonard Wood, 38 today in Springfield. The average high 57 degrees, but this week has been anything but average. But that's kind of the way it's gone this month of November. It's either really warm or it's really cold. Last week it was really warm. Wednesday of last week, a high of 81. We tied the record high on Thursday of last week at 78. Tomorrow's high looks to be about 45 or 46, so it'll be a chilly day, but better than we've seen so far this week. Uh, the reason for the cold today, a cold front that dashed across the area earlier today, and as it moved through, it generated not only patchy cloud cover, but also some snow showers from about Stockton East across Rolla and Salem. There's another cold front on the map. That one will sweep into the area by tomorrow evening. It's currently located here in the Dakotas back into Montana. It will deliver, I think, our coldest weather this week for Friday, and it too could deliver a chance at some light snow tomorrow night. And that risk may actually extend into Friday for parts of the area as well. Uh, looking at our forecast for tonight, we're going to hold on to clear skies up until about sunrise when high cloudiness will sneak in from the north. And I think areas north of Highway 60, we're looking at a day where we're going to find maybe partly sunny to maybe even at times mostly cloudy skies during the afternoon. Meanwhile, areas to the south will stay fairly sunny throughout the day. Uh, tomorrow night, I'm going to be watching for a band of precipitation to drop in from the northwest. And I know this model run didn't really show that, but I think the ingredients are in place for this to happen. As the cold air is moving in, the surface front will push through, but higher up in the atmosphere, there'll be another front that'll help to generate maybe a band of snow that will drop southeast across most of the area overnight Thursday night. On the leading edge, there could be a little bit of light rain, but I think that quickly transitions over to snow. So I'll be watching for that. And then I think with that same general front in the area from Oklahoma into Arkansas, we may see some additional snow showers or snow flurries in those areas for Friday, possibly in a Friday evening. And I think that threat would tend to stay near and south of the state line. One other thing that we're going to find on Friday is extensive cloudiness, whether it be higher up in the atmosphere or lower down. Uh, but it, either way it goes, it's going to make for a fairly cloudy day, and that is going to help to also ensure a very cold day across the area. In terms of snowfall potential, you can see I've painted most of the area with blue. Now, this isn't going to all come at the same time. I think for Thursday night, this is going to be primarily from about the state line in north. And then as we work through Friday into Friday evening, it's going to be primarily from areas just north of the state line and south into northwest Arkansas. Either one of those ways that we can get some light snow, we could find some very light snow accumulations. I can't rule that out. Uh, it doesn't look like it'd be a major impact type event, but you know, something to watch for. Temperatures tonight drop to about 20 for a low. Tomorrow we're looking at a high of 46. Nice down south of the state line. Sunshine and 50. That's going to be awful nice in areas like Harrison and Flippin. On Friday, we're going to be looking at highs, which may not make it above freezing in a lot of the area. And that's kind of a rare event here in the month of November. About 31 for a high, I think, here in Springfield. We start to turn things around on Saturday as winds become more westerly ahead of yet another cold front. Uh, looks like we'll find temperatures topping out near 40 here in Springfield. And the overall pattern it looks like we will be shaking free of this cold as we work from Sunday into Monday as the jet flattens out across the nation, becomes more west to east. That helps to shut off that pipeline of cold out of Canada. Here comes the next storm, and as that next storm moves into the area, it's going to bring rain to our area on Wednesday, possibly through Thanksgiving Day itself. So just be prepared for the possibility of maybe a wet holiday. Ahead of that, uh, we're going to be enjoying some sunshine. We're also going to be enjoying a nice warming trend uh, after a high of 31 on Friday, high, as I said, of 40 on Saturday, 45 on Sunday, and hey, we're almost back to hey. normal on Monday. <laughs> with a high up around 56 or 57 uh, Tuesday of next week. Normal sounds wonderful. It does sound, it sounds really nice at this point. Yeah, yeah it All right. does. <laughs> All right, well, traffic is 